So for our problem 20, we have this force vector, and there is acting on this point that I called P, and we need to find the torque at this point given by this force. Now the first vector that is given to us is the one in part A, so that's what I'm gonna look at right now. So let me rewrite part A. Okay, now we know the formula is gonna be this n hat times the product of the vector r cross product with the vector f. Now I actually prefer oops okay writing it as a hat dot product capital R vector cross product f vector because I'll show you in a second it makes more sense for me. So the r the a hat we we'll start from the first part this one is taken by what? Well, the vector a we need to find. The vector a is simply part before the t. Let me use another color so it's easier to notice. So this part right here is the vector a. So if we find, need to find a hat, we can simply find it to be vector a over magnitude of a. So vector a is 3j minus 4k. So 3 j minus 4k divided by the magnitude of a, which is going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared all under square root. So we get uh, 3 squared 9 plus 4 squared is 16, so 25 square root 25 is 5, so 1 over 5 times 3j minus 4k. That is the vector uh, unit vector a. Oh, sorry, here is a hat. Now, what is the vector r instead? Well, the vector r is actually going to be something a little more complicated. The vector r is going to be the r0 that is going to be taken from the vector r, and this is the r0, because when t is equals to 0, then r is equals to 2i minus k, so vector R will be with the reset. Um, uh, <clears throat> it's going to be equals to uh, and because two different things. Uh, the R zero we need to find the vector R and the point P. And we use the same color, so we know they're correlated. So now we're going to do we have to do the point P minus R zero. So P minus R zero. So point P is equal to 3, negative 1, and 0. 3, negative 1, 0. Minus R naught, which is simply going to be, well, we can see it's 2i minus k. We can write as 2, 0, negative 1. So we're going to have uh, simply subtraction of matrices, which is 3 by 1, minus 3 by 1. So everything works fine. Sorry, 1 by 3, 1, 1 by 3. And so we're going to have 1, negative 1, and 1. That is our R vector. So now let's plug everything in. We have R vector cross the F vector, which in this case is going to be, let's find that, X hat, Y hat. Actually, let me write it in I hat, J hat, and K hat direction. So the R we said is going to be equal to 1, negative 1, 1 and the f we said was uh, 2, 0, and negative 5. So now i hat is going to be negative 1 times negative 5. I'm going to write the x, it's just easier to read. Uh, minus, and then we're going to have 1 times 0 plus j hat, oh, write the hat over here, uh, which is going to be equal to 1 times 2 minus, we're going to have 1 times negative 5, and then plus k hat, which is going to be equal to uh, 1 times 0 minus negative 1 times 2. So here we have, in the i hat, we have a 5 minus 0 plus um, j hat, which is 2 plus 
5 plus k hat and we have 0 plus 2 so our vector will be 5 i hat plus 7 j hat plus 2 k hat now we're not done because then we need to multiply by a hat so we're gonna have a hat dot product with the oops, with the cross product of r and f. So here we're gonna have we said one fifth the a vector was this part over here. So, oops, uh, that's it. Okay. This point over here. So we're gonna have one fifth times three j minus four k. So three j minus four k times five five i hat well that's because it will be hat and hat of course plus seven j hat plus two k now whether you write the hat or not it really doesn't matter uh, i prefer writing it just because i understand that that's the direction so now we have again one fifth then we multiply everything that is the same so j multiplied by the j and since we have z we don't have an i the i over here it's going to be 0 times 5, which is going to be 0. So we can just skip it. And then we have 3 times 7 plus, and then we have negative 4k. So negative 4 times 2. So here in the end, we have in 1 fifth times 21 minus 8. So 1 fifth times 13, which is 13 over 5. That is our final answer. Now let me make sure it is correct before I start the next part. Uh, this one is exercise number 20, we said. Um, sorry, one second. I can't find it, but I'm fairly confident that is our uh, answer. Yeah, I don't have an answer, but I'm very confident that's the, the actual uh, solution to it. Actually, let me try to see if I can get it another way. Uh, number 20. So we have 13 over 5, yes. That's exactly what I wanted. And of course, this is going to be our final answer. That's how much it's going to. Oops, I don't know what that is. I don't know why it keeps doing it. Anyway, this is our final answer. And of course, the direction is given to us by the vector a hat, which is going to be, as we said before, 1 half, 1 over fifth, 5 over, right here, uh, 3j minus 4k. So this is the magnitude and this is the direction.